Yes, what's up soldiers? Your boy Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com vibes ended up in the kitchen. It's been an incredibly hot summer. I'm talking about temperatures reaching as high as 41 and 42 degrees Celsius. Yes, we are in Canada and yes, it's been a continuously hot summer. Not complaining because when winter rolling, oof, your boy hiding inside. Anyways, we're doing a quick ice cream here. Um, traditionally, I would use, if I had access to it, I would use the real sour sap. But for all of us who is outside the Caribbean or, or tropical areas where we cannot get fresh, good sour sap, sour sap here, when I can't get it, it's about $10 a pound. Um, this is sort of a cheat version. Get some sour sap juice, we're going to reduce that, and we're going to get that nice sour sap flavor from that. So, vibes it up, man. Keep cool with this ice cream, sour sap ice cream antioxidants and all kind of thing in there but I guess you gotta use the real stuff though vibes it out man on a medium flame I've got about four cups of sour sub juice um, coming up to a boil once it comes up to a boil I'm gonna reduce the heat and let that reduce by about half to intensify that sour sub flavor that we're looking for in the ice cream it's reduced now by about half and that is exactly where we want it to be what I like doing here is I'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to grate in the zest of one lime. Now I don't really want to overcook this because I want that lime zest to maintain its flavor and all those oils to really kind of brighten up the entire ice cream. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue zesting this lime. All of that is going to go in there. As the sour sub reduction cools, I'm going to go in now. Uh, I just rinsed off the pot with about um, five cups of heavy cream. This is, um, I think, 18% fat on a medium heat and bring that up to a sort of a simmer. In my bowl here, I have four egg yolks. One of them busted, so it's looking as though there's only three in there. And I'm going to go in with three quarter cups of sugar. I'm trying to cut back on my sugar. Typically I would use one cup of sugar, but I'm just going with three quarter cups. And you want to whisk that until it goes smooth. You want to break down all those sugar crystals. And really whip this, because the whole idea here now, we're going to make a custard. So I'm just going to continue whipping this. It, it, it starts boiling very fast, so um, <laughs> don't do like I did. It kind of, I made a mess on the stove here. But anyways, it's simmering gently here now turn my heat all the way down to low so what we need to do now is start building on this cream here over here I have the eggs and the sugar that I was working on you're gonna see it's gonna go nice and pale and what we're gonna do is sort of, sort of temper it so I'm gonna grab some of that hot cream and as I whisk I'm gonna gently add let me just make a base for this here so it doesn't go sliding everywhere so as I whisk, I'm just going to add some of this hot cream to it. Just to temper it so we don't cook the eggs. Add a little bit more. And I'm just going to continue adding about a couple cups in here just to temper those eggs and to bring everything up to the same temperature basically. Next up, we're just going to add it into the simmering cream that we have on the stove here. It's gonna get all of it in here. And we want to bring that back up to a boil and sort of thicken up. And that's gonna help the ice cream take on a wonderful texture. So I'm just gonna continue whisking this and it's important that you whisk it on a sort of a medium flame. Here is where I'm also gonna add in the sour sap mixture that the sort of reduction that we made earlier and if you wanted to add a couple drops of um, almond extract or vanilla extract in here what I would personally use if I had it would be some orange extract that would be brilliant in here to go with the sort of citrus we already have going on with the lime zest you can tell it's gonna go nice and thick I'm gonna turn my heat off at this point and this is what you want to do. You want to get some separation like that on the back of a spoon. Turn my heat off. 
And the whole idea here now is to cool this down. So I'm going to pour this into a container and put it in the fridge to make it easier for my ice cream maker to um, to do its thing. But before I finish off, I'm just going to hit it with a, just a little bit more of that lime zest. In the fridge, allow it to cool down and then we'll get to making the actual ice cream. I've got the, uh, the part that usually kept in the freezer for my ice cream maker. So what we do, we pour in the liquid in here and then we put it in the ice cream maker and it will make the ice cream. But before we get to that, one thing I wanted to show you is that before I put the sort of custard into the fridge, I put a thin layer of plastic wrap over it just to help protect it um, as it chilled. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And then into the um, ice cream maker. And basically all you're doing now is making the ice cream as you would normally make ice cream. My ice cream maker took about 25 minutes to um, to get it to that sort of firm yet sort of the top here is going to be like soft serve almost. So what I like doing, I go to the dollar store and I get one of these plastic containers here with a lid. And I fill it in here and then I put it into the freezer to firm up for a couple hours. But if you want, you can certainly have it exactly as it is here. Um, yeah, I know I went in with my finger there, but wow. It is definitely sour sop ice cream. Not as intense as if we use actual sour sop. Hmm, I want some more. But that flavor and that little hint of lime zest in there. Boy oh boy, is it ever brilliant. Chrissier, CaribbeanPod.com, sour sop ice cream, a cheap version of making sour sup ice cream as I said we achieved some of the original flavor of sour sup if you've ever had sour sup ice cream um, by doing that sort of reduction that we did um, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me a wonderful summertime treat to make for yourself or your kids whoever you're making it for do give it a try man